Hey everybody, welcome back to another Oakmont Esports stream. Uh, today we've got our first main game in the spring 2024 um, Bar City, California League of Legends season. Uh, partnered with Nasef and Play Versus to put that on. Pretty awesome. Uh, we are playing against, uh, let's see. Oh, I just had it here. Hold on, hold on. It's the Asgardian Vikings. So this is a Vikings versus Vikings matchup. But uh, we got the Oakmont Berserkers versus Lindbrook High School. Um, and it's going to be a pretty tough match. Uh, other team has oh some pretty high-level players as well. Uh, so, yeah, I think we got a strong topside mid and jungle. Uh, we got a little bit of a weaker bot lane. Uh, but experience levels across laning roles match up pretty well. So this should be a good game. Uh, we're partway through draft. Um, and uh, we got a couple bands out already. Uh, I can this one just to find and show that. I don't think I have that set up yet. But uh, I do have... Let's see, I do have Mobilytics set up. So let me get myself out of the way here. And we can take a look at what's coming in on draft. That is Oakmont on the left. And that's uh, Lindbrook High School on the right. And... Uh, Actually, the right roles. Let's see. Can I move this around? Uh, sorry. Let's see what I can do with that. Nope. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. those are those are not those are in the order that we're drafting and picking them. Not yet through the lane assignment. So that that matchup data is not yet correct. Uh, but yeah. So we'll just hang out for a little bit. Hopefully, audio is working. Everything's good. I'll try to check on stream here. And yeah, it looks like video is doing all right. Okay, yeah, this stream is a little hasty. I don't have some of the new features developed yet. Uh, one thing I'd like to do is we're working on firewalls using OBS NDI, uh, OBS Studio with NDI network data integration so that I can pull video capture directly in from a student's PC as long as they're playing here in person. Another thing we're looking at is uh, the ability to add replays. I figured I had to do that this summer, but I haven't engineered that up this time around. And then, uh, yeah, just to get some more player data, to get some screens and widgets and all the good stuff. So yeah, it's pretty pretty base level beginner stream, but it should still be good. You can have some awesome gameplay to check out. All right, so their team. Um, probably Yasuo mid Cassante top, but it could be the other way around. Definitely a high damage, misfortune, Lux uh, bot lane, and definitely Zach. So it looks like they are picking in LCS order, whereas now we got to kershuffle a couple things here. And uh, yeah, we got a lot of our top picks here. So that should be pretty good. And now that they're rearranged, we can see win rates. It looks like the uh, Volley Bear is heavily favored in top lane. Uh, jungle slightly favoring the brand. And then the uh, mid lane might be slightly favoring the Yasuo. The Misfortune seems to come out on top over the Twitch pick. These are just generic stats, by the way. These are not specific to our players. So I, I do think our team is stoked to be on Twitch and Tom Kench in the bot lane. Um, that was a huge pick for us. And we are also very happy to not see Evelyn jungling as well as some of the high damage, high mobility um, ADC picks besides Misfortune out there. Uh, Kled top lane was also something we are worried about. And uh, Wei is just getting banned just because Wei, like, who wants to play into that? So, yeah, uh, off to a good start. Let me get you guys the next screen here. There we go. That is, uh, yeah, everybody all skinned up and good to go. Uh, mastery wise, let's see if I can make a do here. Yeah, okay, cool, I got it. All right, so, um, this is actually, oh, I was about to say this is really good news. No, just kidding. The level sevens are on their side. They have some serious experience on some of these champions there. Anyway, let me switch over to our main uh, in-game system here. Just a second. All right. No client bug, it's a good day. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wrong button. There we go. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. All right. 
And uh, again, Oakmont is blue side. 30 okay. seconds until minions spawn. Cheering to the bottom left. Uh, and it looks like the Zac might be starting blue and pathing bot. That is the new meta. We got uh, Kian bravely face checking a bush. Excellent. Oh, is this maybe up with no stream? Oh no, we did have a stream delay, right? Yeah, I think we did. Minions has spawned. Okay. All right. I'm going to delay us a bit here. We are not set up with a stream delay, which is weird. I would have thought that the spectator game client for tournament mode would have defaulted to that. So I apologize. We're just going to chill here for a second. Um, we do not want to be uh, here. Yeah, that is very strange that we're not on a stream delay. Just a sec. We'll hang out about three minutes here. And we'll let the other coach know too. Same issue with their stream. Anyway, this will be a best of three. Um, so we could be here quite a while here. Should be pretty fun. Alrighty, we're sitting about three minutes behind schedule now. Yeah, here we go. Let's get this game going. Yeah, so it looks like, uh... oh, you know what? Um, they are passing the top. The top. We're passing in the opposite direction. I think it makes sense to try to prioritize a lot of bottom I actually like this one's path better. But you do kind of want that strong lead sometimes. Uh, also versus Nico. I don't really know how that uh, matchup goes down. I think the Nico has got probably less utility by the time you're in the middle of And uh, Toby playing aggressive early on there. Nice chunk of damage. Got the ease forward there. Pretty good mobility. Clearly knows how to pilot that thing. And let's see, we got an aggressive top end going. see some aggressive play coming out of bot lane here. Um, Got to get bush control to forward. Nice vision by the Lux though. That's going to shut down a lot of what Tom Kitch is trying to do. And that poke is pretty big. This could be a kill going over the bot lane here. Oh, and it is. That's first blood. Uh, combination of Lux and MF. That's rough. Twitch is going to have to start to play back here until we get back in lane. Uh, Yasuo, I think, just barely misses the 
good dodge by our Valiant Team Captain there. Sorry, that's a good kill in mid lane. I died. Team Captain is jungle. And uh, I don't see what Dan Jungle does as far as damage up, but I think he's mostly just wants to level up. But can you come in for a game here? I don't think there's a good opportunity for that. Kind of good thing. Because speaking of things, uh, there is this fight going down in top lane. Trying to knock him from the tower, denies the escape, and that is a lot of counter damage coming in, but that 2v1 is too much. Takes Volley down. Got some vision up right there. Not sure if that helped or didn't help. And yeah, I don't think there's an opportunity to move the way things are going. I also don't know if we're getting spotted by that little rapid or not. But uh, let's see. Bali uses TP back to lane. At this point, it's going to be a high priority for the Zac to actually come in and do TP things now that the TP's down. Like, so far, not a lot has been lost. Um, trying to establish stealth here on the Twitch. Is there an opportunity to make something happen with that, though? Or are we just kind of getting pushed down here by this uh, long range close combo? Yeah, there's a lot of range there between the Lux and the Misfortune. That's going to be hard for only one range counter, one range champion counter. And it looks like our opponents are trying to set up a freeze. Actually, no, they're hitting that way too hard to be freezing. That freeze opportunity right there. There's not a whole lot we can do to test that if they do freeze it. It's not too hard. No, yeah, it's not. Hit too hard. All right. Uh, little poke coming from Yasuo. We will safely farming up there. River uh, vision control topside is huge. Uh, our opponents may be trying to go for those early void grabs. And uh, our general guess after only a couple days on 14 is that they do quite a bit of the push down towers through the main. Those void grabs do seem to be pretty worth it. Uh, yeah, if you've, if you've been playing some League of Legends here, chime in chat too. Like, have you tried the void grabs? Have you tried the Rift Herald? What have you done so far? Let us know. Welcome to chat too if you're expected. Check it out. Alright, Coke coming from the MF trying to keep uh, Cody zoned off there. This game is coming right to the minion 2 on that ability. And uh, looks like the Twitch screen is a little glitchy. It's actually kind of low frames on Twitch. Um, looks a lot sharper on OBS 2 than I'm getting some graphical glitches, but it's pretty weird. So that is strange. Alright, one walls up. Uh, Oh shoot, we got a Oh no, and a lot of damage coming through. Can we get the counter kill? Come on! Oh, okay. One counter kill comes through. I think that Yasuo might be too much for the Nizo and Yasuo to both take down. Both playing it safe. With Kasante on his way, this fight is going to turn over. And uh, unfortunately, too, their jungle Zack is back up. The game is not looking great for Oakmont so far. Having a hard time in the early game. Uh, nice pop up there by Cody, gets a little bit of a stun, but unfortunately the damage coming back the other direction is pretty wicked. Overall net negative on that game. And yeah, I'm getting some weird, uh, weird visual artifacts, both through OBS and then also through uh, that aren't showing up on the game client. So if you guys are seeing that too, that's pretty funky. Let's see what I can do to adjust the capture settings. SLI enabled. Huh. I'm disabling transparency and capture cursor. Weird. Yeah, not sure what those uh, visual artifacts are. That's really interesting. Okay. Uh, if I were them, I'd be setting up a Drake right about now. I think our team is very much aware of this timing. And they're scoping out the vision control there. But with our mid lane, uh, potentially turn this up. It's going to be hard to get priority. You know, with bot lane already starting to get a little bit behind. It's going to be real hard to match Drake early on in this game. Uh, Cody is diligently getting vision for himself. And making sure whatever's going on, at least aware of it, can try for a steal or something like that. Uh, Earth Hornet should be hitting. Soon. You have to just watch out for that timing. Uh, once Lux gets R, she's going to be firing that off non stop. 
And uh, so far, it seems like top lane is, is definitely where we're winning, even with the jungle pressure. Uh, Toby is way ahead on CS. So top lane is going really well. Uh, I don't think he could do as much to do as the health champion. He's just delaying, delaying what's going on there. But uh, Toby takes a plate. Well done. Ja uh, Zach coming in for a potential game on break. And uh, oh, see there, I'm not even sure he'll need it. Oh, luckily they fall for the decoy. And uh, yeah, Nico, Nico decoy for the win. Or at least for the quick ball. Uh, yeah, Oakmont's not looking great. We're about to take gold down. And uh, this is going to be rough. Looking pretty grim already. Except from the top of the bunker. Uh, Brand is ahead though. Brand is farming up. Brand has power, a uh, level 6 power fight. Uh, and should be able to put down some amazing damage with these fights. Maybe sit behind the ball and try to blast through that. They just have a lot of ways to, to fire right over our front line. Uh, Zach looking for a game here. It's gonna get the game. Oh, excellent flash. Took everything the other team had except for, of course, the Fortune Arm. Um, got fired as a follow up there. Yep, Lux is definitely going to be getting that out in time. Let's see. Not a whole lot going on there. Uh, it's a good time to win with that, actually. It's actually like a small window where we could do some work on that. Yeah, okay, let's do it. The damage should come out of there pretty fast. That would be a nice way to be able to push the powers down quickly. And, uh, yep, I heard about how the shields come up and them all down pretty much at the same time. So that from the time the enemy notification comes out, you can rush them down really fast. Cool. And very efficient, too, on the pathing on that game. Alright, and will this is the I probably will at this point. Probably on Nico to play safe and definitely. We still get a rotation at some time. And uh, yeah, Kobe's just forcing the Cassante off at this point. Cassante giving up a lot of respect there. Uh oh, but we got a potential. Dude, you want nope? Okay. So key in there is just zoning. Can't take the Yasuo in a 1v1. But here we go. Uh, Windwall comes in. And uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, there we go. And can the brand follow up? Can the brand follow up? Uh, flash is spent. Wall is behind there. Brand should have a ton of damage coming out of this. But the Yasuo is just too fast. Flash is spent. Uh oh, we're chasing. Oh, Zach comes in for the attack. And Yasuo, too, takes a kill. Yeah, at this point, there's not much we can accomplish. That's a bummer. She just took too long chasing. Meanwhile, I missed that bot lane kill. Let's zoom back for a sec. And then the amount of damage from that duo is terrible. Not a lot of survivability we got there. Uh, with this fortune, of course, building uh, fast boots and no moves, she's going to be zooming around the map later this game and gets a little bit of that game game lethality. All right, Yasuo's on item number one. Uh, Brand's got first item. Top's got an item. Alright, so first items are online here. And that trick you can do is you gotta poke that Yasuo with the shield down and then get out of here. And so before the shield you know, runs out of time. Oh. Set up that shot, at least to contest that. I don't think we can. I think we shoved lane. 
but uh, maybe a little bit of time before that happens too. as Guardians uh, rotate. Rotations go in on the other side here. And that Nico is up major levels on the field. But the kind of damage that comes out of those two is pretty crazy. So, yes, and the program is amazing. Oh, oh, let's go! Shut down! Double shutdown, oh, fuck! All right, making it happen. That's what I want to see. Well done, everybody. And, uh, yeah, Kasaka is pushing the bottom. Good shutdown. Oh man, that just. That was a lot of gold right there. It's about a thousand gold swings. Um, this is super low though. We're gonna lose this victor. And then we're gonna have some major problems with the employee that we're gonna break. So, the game is still not looking good for Ogre. But that was, a, that was an awesome shutdown. Oh, here come those little void drops. That without getting too far ahead of the tower, there's going to be a lot of pressure to here. Um, yeah, looks like the Asgardians are, are going to play fairly forward and aggressive on that lane and just keep on trying to sit down towers, which uh, with their goal lead, I think is the smart thing to do. I kind of agree with that. In the meantime, I don't think our Twitch has scaled enough to get too far out on bot. We're going to have a hard time pushing that much farther than, than whatever our vision was at that time. Uh, we got some vision up, uh, kind of across this river here. That's actually pretty good defensive vision for the Twitch. Well protected. Um, not a whole lot anywhere else in the map. Whereas uh, Asgard is definitely pushing into our peace side zone with their vision. Although really, there's big gaps on the bot side of the map in their vision too. So. Here. Now, does uh, Toby deal with the MF well, given she has built out a pretty fast hit for the And 
can do that uh, extra ability walk thing. Get with uh, but assuming you both know what they're doing, looks like you can because the amount of respect there is pretty wide. Just wait the ultimate pitch and raise. And uh, so I'll be cruising around places like this. Gets in a random hit. And yeah, that ward is helping the track in general. Uh, so we have sweeping lenses up. Oh no, Cody gets. No, 28 seconds. No, he's got a sweep lens. Uh oh. And uh, as Guardian aggression level is toned down a bit, I wonder if they're just trying to stay alive to make the ability from the other. And that's really good. Where are they headed next? Not sure. Smell you can see. Yeah, there's nothing up soon here. Um, where is the pressure gonna be? Hold back at the moment. Support. And uh, Yasa does need to burn flash, takes a chunk of damage, but is able to escape that one. And now it's back to the, the bot lanes clearing off. Lux going fishing. Weird, fairly non-interactive minute or two. Everybody's just farming it, taking it easy. Here we go, dragon coming up. Still a while though, right? 30 seconds, looks like Oakmont is still here. Uh, Apple does have some speed. I don't know if he wins this though. I'm feeling it's Yas. Oh, ouch. Close fight, but Yas takes that. That's going to be a bit of a problem if you get down here fast with a number of pieces It does look like Oakmont's going to try to pick this up. Um, it looks like the Asgardians are going to wait so they can get a pick. This is the first pick. Uh, it's fire type, and it looks like the fire type is an art zone. Run. But at the same time, uh, I don't think they're going to do the same thing as Okay, let's get that first kill. One for one at the moment. Um, mid level is going to make it happen. And yet we're not completely out of the clear here. You might see a Luxor and that Steel is a kind of focus fire here. I'm kind of expecting to see that the hope is coming out there. Alright, cool. Excellent work, Pokemon. That's great, so that'll help out a little bit. Or at least slow up the point where we need to, you know, fight to the death of those things. Alright, and uh, Oakland is going to be pushed back, but we're for 8k behind in full. We're going to keep the job slow in the advance and take a strategic fight to play it safe too. This is my play. Uh, when you're that far behind, it's pretty hard to do that. They're gonna let us push that top lane all the way in. That's kind of nice. And it's interesting to see the Asgardian mid game here. It it slowed down a fair amount. They're really being kind of deliberate in how they. Push out waves and break it and look for a kick or a catch. It's not the like all in, push all in, every single But uh, it's really bad. Oh, this is really bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. He might make it. Oh my goodness, he's, he's gonna make it? Oh, so close. That was a good run. I like it. Good mechanics there. Jungle trying to escape here. Um, 
Yep, backing up, good. Yep, Volcom should be backing up. And uh, new Baron's up. Uh, do, they, do they try to force a fight here? Ooh, Clash gets burned, going for a dodge on the Vico. And Yasuo, it looks out of position, but that is baiting, I think. They're going to go to Yeah, here's that Glass. It is a 5 and 4. And, uh... Except that collapse was half-hearted. Like, I think they had that if they did more decisive. But now we're seeing this. We're seeing kind of more of a chaotic bullet where we actually were able to get the pitch going on. And it's not as lopsided as it could have been. Uh, uh it's not going to take quite a bit of game with this one. I thought we doing the same thing, trying to pull through the safety. I don't think there is any safety at this point. Uh, not with that fight so far at Ford of our last turret. And I think he's just got a good game for you guys. Which escapes to tell the tale. Uh, let's see. So that fight, I think that was a... Started out as a 4v5. And uh, ended up with two kills to four. So could have been worse, could have been better. Good job of uh, taking our camps instead of just clearing their own. Now, you know, visions this far in. He's coming right here. Again, topside's getting better. Uh, and uh, got a two level difference right here. Yep, good to play cautious there. Good call. Zach. All right, good job, guys. That closed the gold differential a little bit. And uh, will this give us enough time to set up and take Drake? I think the timing's not quite right. It'd be a risky fight still. You're welcome. We could try it, though. Yeah, Volleyver's CS numbers are overall gold. They're probably not far behind Yasu's. That helps. Because Yas just needs Asante, though. They do have a Volleyver. Ooh, that's not green. I'm going to just have to wonder. Start crushing through those towers pretty fast. All right, so everyone's going for it. Uh, uh, we should probably get our people safely out of there at this point. Yeah. Get out of here. Good call. Okay, cool. In the meantime, we gotta start defending the base here. The tower's pretty far ahead. Yeah, tip them away. He doesn't get caught out somewhere else, but we got a little bit of vision there. We should be okay. Are they collapsing the window? He's got stealth. That's a dead man. <laughs> I'll be right Slows from the MF. What? <laughs> oh, if he could keep three people running around the top side, that would be sweet. 
Oh, going for the execute? Oh! <laughs> what an annoying champion. <laughs> Probably a greedy flash there, but whatever. Oh, I was looking at the stream there. The scrolling banner is in the way of the game capture. That's not cool. Let's see what I can do. I was like, the whole scoreboard touched on My bad. Alright, looks like uh, Lindbergh is trying to get the game. Looks like Oakland is thinking about potentially possessing a bit, but we're going to get zoned off with only two players. And we're going to get the game to the next one. Because I don't see it. Yeah, no, it's really, really exactly the right thing. Nope, they're recalling fast to try to get back. And, uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's not good. We're dealing with some uh, enhanced minions and buffs for the next couple minutes here. push again here, but they've been really been playing it, like patiently and waiting to scale so far. And uh, that was part of the thought process behind the switch there too, was uh, the of the scale. Oh, a little bit of a catch there. Oh, nice pick! Alright! Way to go, Akira! Interested in this uh, next dragon. Uh, and it looks like it is going to be challenging to contest that. Uh, Cody's not good, but he's going to get himself caught in the pit. Okay, there we go. Alright, cool. We're going for the ambush. Oh, we're just, we're just stalling. We're waiting for our two players to show up. This is going to be our first, like, well-positioned 5v5 of the game. Uh, so far, it's been kind of hodgepodge and chaotic. This one, both teams are just sitting here and waiting for that hit. And let's try to get this hit on. Oh, no, that's our new lane. We're going to get this hit on. Kassante's initial target able to take a bunch of damage and kind of slow that process. And it is now a whole lot of damage coming towards Oakmont with only one player left. Uh, Toby stays alive to that and is trying to continue to pressure them off the rail. But I don't think he's going to do that without giving his own life. That was unfortunate. I think our, our damage 
you know, Cassante was front and center there, and it was the obvious target to pick, and that's exactly what Cassante is there for, is just to soak damage. So while we were getting our high damage squishies picked off, they were getting their, their one tank picked off, and then the differential just swung the other way. There's also a nice initiation by the Lux with uh, a lot of damage coming in on mid laner and a little bit of chain CC there. Uh, so that was kind of well played. I really liked going, leading into that though, the positioning on both sides. That was interesting. Um, Oakmont for a long time was trying to stall that out to get all five players there, and they did manage to do that. Well, uh, Yasu was joking about as probably one of the, well, I don't know that he's got better than mobility without minions to jump around. Anyway, scoping that out. All right. And at this point, with this gold differential, I would love to see the Asgardians play a little more aggressive and try to get some towers down. Um, you know, this is a, a 34 minute game, which hasn't been that close to gold wise, kill wise, for quite a while. I'm wondering what they're waiting for before they really start pushing out lanes. Um, and I, I do think the longer it drags on, the more the Yas and this one is but I, I don't know the ice games are worse. Ooh, nice CC there. Uh, Cassante is now getting the 3v1. Uh, we should have more than enough damage to take that down. Honestly, uh, splits him out. Oh, and he flashes over the wall. Bummer. I can't believe he just got away. <laughs> Wow, okay. Meanwhile, our uh, Bolly Bears are having to run for it a bit, but is it good? Let me see. Quick doing the same thing. Uh, stealth thing and high speeding at it. Okay, so we're fairly grouped up. It is a 5v4. We could try to push and make something happen right back. I'm not sure if we're. We, we must be aware of Santa's back. I'm just not sure if there is an easy way to push this out. Um, looks like vision control along this side. There's a beautiful vision line right there um, All the way across and so it looks like they're gonna be trying to lean in from this direction to Try to start a close of Baron fight here. If it's possible to Baron fight with the that can take this game down uh, let's see, let's see, let's see we got to get the Yas down, so much damage And that is so much damage too Oh, ouch That looked like a good initiation, but there's just too much damage coming the other way and uh, our damage landed on the Zac, who again is building tank items. So like Oakmont oh, positioning good, shot calling and damage prioritization bad. Goss is now level 18 and I four items. This doesn't end it, I'm not sure what's going on. Again, even like Lux should be able to push here. Just very cautious. the game here, let's Take a kill on Yas. Um, at this point, the left side of the base is crumbling, and uh, our mid lane and top lane are going to have to get back and save the Nexus here. Should we want to save the Nexus at this point? Or maybe it's time for the next game here. We'll see. Alright, GG well played. Alright, so I'm going to midstream us for a second, and then I'll get you guys back in the next game.
Actually, I may just have cast that first game. We might call it, and then, uh... Yeah, that's it. 